Well, sometimes your tools break. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do little girl's hair. Um, when we first took in our three sibling uh, foster girl placements, I had no idea how to do little girl hair. Our son uh, didn't have long hair, still doesn't have long hair, not too complicated to for him to brush his own hair. And with Skylar and I both working full-time jobs, I had to learn really fast how to make sure the girls were ready for school in the mornings. So, this is not uncommon for her to have very matted and tangled hair. Um, the three girls that we have, all three have different hair. One has very, very thin hair. It makes it actually pretty easy to do her hair. Um, the tangles are easy to get out. Uh, one has kind of medium you know, hair where she does get tangled, but it takes a couple seconds to usually comb them out. And then one of them has extremely thick hair. It's beautiful, pretty hair, but it's very thick and very hard to manage. That's hard for her to brush, it's hard for us to brush. Um, when she first moved in, uh, we used to wonder, why does it take so long for her to get dressed in the morning after she's done taking a shower? The problem was her hair was so thick that when she got out of the shower, it was so wet, she'd try and dry it and she'd try and get dressed and she was getting her clothes all wet. She didn't like to get her clothes wet. So she'd take a long time again, trying to dry her hair. And what we ended up doing is getting her shower cap and that ended up helping. So right now we're going to show you how to comb out knots or uh, what is commonly referred to as a rat's nest. This happens for her daily. Uh, so every day she's having to deal with combing it. We're having to help her at times uh, comb it and it makes it just really tough. So these are two of the tools that we'll be using. This is called the detangler brush. This works amazing with thin hair or even uh, medium thickness hair, not as well with the thicker hair. Um, with the thicker hair, you also need to use a regular brush in kind of combination. And really you're just doing what you can to try and get those tangles and that rat's nest out. So the third tool you'll be using is detangler spray. This stuff works wonders. Um, sometimes you have to use a lot of it depending on the hair that you're working with, uh, but it really does a good job at loosening hair. So let's get started. So since there's such an obvious big rat's nest right here, I'm gonna actually work on this first um, and then I'll work through the rest of her hair. Um, first, I'm gonna spray some of this on top some of this on bottom. And really, again, with her hair, you have to use a lot of it. An important thing to remember is if you're actually pulling, you wanna, you wanna hold the hair to where it's not pulling and actually hurting. So the best way to do that is kind of hold right here and then you can kind of just pull. All right, now I'm gonna start combing at it with a detangler brush. See, already you can start to notice it coming apart. Now, you will get slick if you're not careful, as I just dropped it and had to start back again. See how I'm using this bigger brush now. I'm gripping really good here so it's not pulling her hair. It's starting to come free. There's still quite a bit in there. If you notice, some of this is starting to come loose. I'll switch back to the detangler brush for a little while. This is why encouraging them to brush their hair regularly is very important. Because what happens is once these rats nests start, then they don't stop. They just keep getting bigger and bigger throughout the day and throughout the days. So now what I like to do is separate the hair kind of in thirds. Um, I just sprayed it down a little bit with the detangler. This is where I'm gonna add 
Another tool and it's just water. starts going through smooth then you've got most of the smaller knots. Eventually you're able to start going from top oops, snag some of that down. Well, sometimes your tools break. <laughs> um, now that I've done it in sections, I'm going to lay it out flat, make sure I have all of it. And then I'm going to kind of do it as a group here. Spray a little more on. I would be spraying some water on it, but I broke the bottle. Let's see how when you start at the top now. Go down, and it goes smooth like butter, except for when it doesn't. It goes down. See, and that's the whole point. Well, you know, you want to be able to run a brush all the way through and not get it tangled up. And then when you do, just kind of work out that specific tangle. And then what that does is now you're able to do different hair styles. Um, you're able to separate the hair out easier and all the tangles are out. Go ahead and click subscribe if you want to see more of our family videos and uh, give it a big thumbs up and click the notification button so that you see when new videos arrive. Uh, our plan is to do at least once a week, sometimes more. Thanks!